This is chapter one, Entrepreneurs Recognize Opportunities. Entrepreneurs start their own business and work for themselves and assume large amounts of risk of managing a business for the sake of potential. They're usually an employee and an owner, so as I mentioned, they um, work at the business that they start. And entrepreneurs recognize opportunities to start businesses that other people may have not noticed. They also shift economic resources from an area of lower productivity into an area of higher productivity and greater yield. And by doing this, they add value to scarce resources. And as an entrepreneur, you can either provide a product, which is a tangible item, or a service, which is intangible, such as time, skills, or expertise. So to be classified as a small business, um, you need to have zero to 500 full-time employees and annual sales less than five million. So an example of a small bu business would be like a local boutique or restaurant. And a small business operations are very different from a large corporation such as Walmart. So looking at cost and benefit analysis, the benefits of being an entrepreneur are more than monetary. Financial rewards may not occur until several years down the road. And you have to go through a lot of difficult times and have to put in a great deal of time and effort in those first few years. So your number one benefit for starting a business should not be financial reward. And some other benefits would be independence, satisfaction, self-esteem, and contribution to society. And that you own a company and you can choose how you can help others through your company and support your economy. There are a lot of costs that go along with starting a business, such as financial insecurity, business failure, long hours and hard work, strain on personal relationships, loneliness working not on your own when you start your business. And use cost and benefit analysis to make decisions. And it's the process of comparing the cost and the benefits in order to make a good decision. And cost and benefit analysis can be inaccurate without including opportunity cost. And this is the cost of missing your next big investment. So looking at a business opportunity, an opportunity is an idea that is based on what customers need or want and willing to buy sufficiently often at a high enough price to sustain the business. A business opportunity is an ideal plus three characteristics. So it must be attractive to the customers. Um, it will work in your business environment. And it can be executed in the window of opportunity that exists. And the window of opportunity is the time available to get the idea to the market before it is not needed or demand lessens or a competitor dominates the market. And then also you have the resources and skills to create the business. So if you have a great idea, but you don't have the money or the resources to uh, create it, then it's not a viable business opportunity. And after you've found the opportunity, you need to develop a strategy. And a strategy is a plan for how an organization or individual plans to perform and outdo competitors. There's five routes of opportunity in the marketplace. And you need to identify and evaluate opportunities to start your own business. And the first thing you need to look at is problems. And first is what problem can your business solve that is currently in the market? Also, what changes in laws, situations, or trends can you use to your advantage to start a business? So is there a new law that's open up that's lowered... Um, like you can even think about such things as laws as tax rates or even import rates if you're going to import a product, um, tariffs on importing, those different things. Or is there some big trend that just happened and you want to get on that trend before um, it's gone? 
Also, um, inventions of totally new products or services is an opportunity. Competition can be an opportunity um, if you find a way to beat the competition on price, location, quality, reputation, reliability, or speed. You can create a very successful business with an existing product or service. You can also have a technological advance, and this is inventing new technology, but entrepreneurs um, find out how to sell it. So you don't necessarily have to come up with the new technology, you just have to find a way to sell it to a customer. Looking at the SWOT, which is your strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities and threats, you need to identify and evaluate your opportunities to start your own business. So looking at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The strengths are all the capabilities and positive points the entrepreneur has from experience to contacts, and these are internal to the organization. Weaknesses are all the negatives the entrepreneur faces, such as lack of capital or training, or failure to set up a workable accounting system, and these are internal to the organization. Opportunities are any positive external events or circumstances, including lucky breaks, that can help the entrepreneur get ahead of the competition. And then threats, are any external factor, event, or circumstance that can harm the business, such as competitors, legal issues, or a declining economy is another option. So, paths to small business ownership. So, first you can start from the beginning, and this would be uh, starting your business from scratch. You can buy an existing business, which would be an acquisition. And this is the purchase of a business. And you use this when purchasing a company. And you also wanna make sure that you do due diligence to evaluate the business opportunity. You can also buy a franchise. And this is a business that markets a product or service developed by a franchisor and typically in the manner specified by that franchisor. And then also you can license technology, which we kind of talked about that is using someone else's invention or technology that you don't own and taking it to the market, but you don't own the technology and pay royalties for it, for that to the person or scientist who created it. There's seven rules for building a successful business. First is recognize an opportunity. Um, example that's given in your book is about Russell Simmons of Def Jam Records, and he saw that rap music was an untapped business opportunity. Then you need the second thing you do is evaluate that opportunity with critical thinking. And he, what he did is he promoted some rap concerts and observed consumers' reactions to rap. Um, you can also think about your SWAT strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Then he built a team. So he needed to hire capable people to help him. He uh, Next is writing. You want to write a realistic business plan to get funding. Then he gathered resources so he got investors. You can get a loan or you can use your own money. Then you have to decide on your ownership. If it's going to be a, a partnership, a sole proprietor, an LLC. And then last, you need to create wealth. So profit is the sign that you've added value. And... You use scarce resources to do that. And not making a profit is a sign that the entrepreneur is not using resources very well and is not adding value to them. And to create wealth is the final goal of a business and to be profitable. And this is the key terms for um, chapter one.